Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new video in Forza Horizon 4. Now you guys will remember this limousine if you watched the previous video with it. Uh, if not, then basically what this car is, is it's a slammed limousine with a lot of power and rear wheel drive and drift suspension. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be completely reversing that formula, turning it into a off-road machine and lifting it. So first things first, we are going to a rally suspension. And then after that, we do have a, a little bit more uh, changes to make to the suspension, but those are mainly tuning changes. But we also have some tire compound changes to make. Mainly the snow tires, which are basically rally tires in winter time. Um, and that's really the only option. I wish we could run off-road race stuff, uh, but unfortunately we can't. Now, the widest tire we can run is a 285 front and rear. And in order to give it a little bit more of an off-road style look, I am going to be applying some slightly off-road-ish wheels if I can find some that look even remotely off-road-like. And when I say even remotely off-road-like, I mean really as close as we'll be able to get to an off-road wheel in Forza, which is kind of like, you know, kind of like these street locks or something. Like, I don't know, you paint these black or gray and they'll look sort of off-road-like. Not very, but sort of. Now, we don't really have any other actual, like, you know aerodynamic modifications besides the ones that come with it so we're gonna have to do a drive a drivetrain swap to all-wheel drive and i believe we'll probably leave the current engine that's in here uh in here because i mean currently we make about 718 horsepower we could do a different engine but i'm not sure that would be the best scenario for this build so now that we have all of our drivetrain components fully built, I'm actually kind of leaning more towards actually swapping the engine just because of the fact that the rotary will not make the torque that we're looking for. So I think I'm going to do the 7 liter V8 because we just need, we need the torque. We need the torque. So... With that being said, the torque's going to come on a little differently with the twin turbos, but I don't think that twin turbos will actually be a bad choice, especially if, you know, if, if, if boost hits fairly, you know, fairly well in the mid-range. So let's beef everything up and see what we can make full power-wise, and then we'll get this thing out, I, I almost said out on the road, but rather out in the dirt, and we do need to do a bit of an off-road themed paint job. The wheels need to be black because, like, the chrome looks weird. I don't like chrome on off-road vehicles. It just looks weird to me. So, 1,265 horsepower and 1,088 foot-pounds of torque. This thing weighs in at 4,463 pounds, which is pretty good. I have to admit, it's pretty good. But, but, we have yet to see if it can uh, prove itself to be effective. So, and, and effectiveness, effectiveness is usually quite different than what a vehicle seems like it can actually do on paper. So, tuning-wise, now, gearing is going to go, we're going to start with it being all the way to, at a 610 to 1. Um, we're going to dial the negative camber out of the front and out of the rear, and the caster, I'm going to push it all the way out. So it's maximum wheelbase length. And sway bars are going to be full soft front and rear. So if there's any flex at all to be gained out of this car, we'll, we will find it. Um, same thing with the springs. If there's any flex at all to be gained out of this thing. Again, we will find it. We will 100% find it. Now... Front diff acceleration is going to be 100%. Rear diff acceleration is going to be 100%. And it's going to be 50-50 front to back, which is kind of an odd, like, it, it's, it's kind of an odd setup usually. But for an off-road vehicle, it makes a little bit more sense. So let's go to the design and paints. And let's go to actually painting the car. And we're going to do probably just a camo livery. Not really even a livery, but like one of the camo paint jobs on the full car. And it'll probably be, I mean, it is winter, so we should probably do digital snow camo. So we'll do the digital snow camo. And then on the wheels, we'll do like, almost like a, 
I don't know, almost like a like a when I say a matte black, I mean almost like a um almost like a like a like a matte black that looks really really like beat and weathered and like but it's it, it's kind of hard to do that you know what i mean it's kind of hard to do that so we're just going to go with a standard matte black so that is going to be that is going to be pretty much the car and now we're going to see if this lifted v8 twin turbocharged limousine can do anything of effective uh, in an off-road environment, and that includes everything from hill climbing to rock crawling to pretty much everything in between. So, let's take this thing out in the dirt. I almost said on the road again, but no, um, out in the dirt and see what it's actually made of in terms of capabilities, and I'm kind of, kind of, uh, kind of terrified, actually. So, let's see how it goes. It accelerates like a monster, but at the same time, it tops out at 131. So, this thing is not a top speed build by any stretch of the imagination. But, we will see if it is worth anything at all as an off-road build in just a second. It is absolutely not. I mean, to be fair, like, the actual rock part is only one little part of this whole thing. So... I mean, it can climb rocks if it goes around half of them. Which really isn't climbing rocks at all. Let's see. Oh my god. So yeah, the bumper just hits the rocks themselves. So climbing the rocks, or at least attempting to climb the rocks, is literally pointless. How far does it go up this hill? Holy crap! Yo, that's farther than I've ever been up that hill. I bet you it can climb this right here. If it'll do all that, like... I, I bet you it can climb this. And I, I actually feel pretty confident in saying that because this thing might have climbing capabilities to rival those of even the Titan. Because the Titan was a monster in hill climbing. And this just might be able to get there. Still no! Still no! Holy crap, still no. Okay, well... Hey, it was a really good try on its part. I mean, and again, you have to keep in mind this whole time that this is under the condition of the fact that this is a limousine. A lifted limousine doing this. So I think when you think of it in that way, it becomes a little bit like, like you kind of start to give it a little bit more respect for some of the things it can do. Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, okay, I will make it up that. I will make it up that. Let's go! There it is! There it is. It just takes momentum. And again, the torque is really good on this engine. It actually makes some really nice torque. It just can't attack anything with any sort of aggressive, like, incline angle. Like, you know, any sort of aggressive, sorry, approach angle. Because... Like, look here. It's just hung up on the bumper. I mean, this right here is exactly the problem with this car. It's exactly the reason why this car would not be effective for this. I mean, look. Look at it. It's completely hung on the front and completely hung up on the rear. So, front bumper in the dirt. Rear bumper in the dirt or snow or whatever it happens to be at that given season or in that given season. So, like, the front tires aren't really even on the ground all that much. So, this is the problem. And I knew that this was going to be the problem going in. So, don't think for a second that I was like, no, it's not going to have any issues at all. No way. No, I knew it was going to have issues doing this. I also knew, though, that it was going to be, like, I, I was also hoping that it, they weren't going to be that bad, but they are. <laughs> I will say, though, it is, like, truly hilarious, and it's actually really fun to drive. It's fun to drive at least when it, when it works, at least when you find a hill that isn't too, too steep. Because, like, oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! 
And when that happens, you're done. When that happens, you're genuinely done. And, like, the weight of this thing doesn't really help it much either. I mean, it kind of does to an extent, but... Hey, it can jump it, though. If it jumps that little ditch, it doesn't have to worry about the front end getting hung up while it's trying to climb it. Oh, we need to try to climb this, though. Yeah, we need to try to climb this because it does have some decent climbing skills. Or, sorry, abilities. The vehicle doesn't really have skills. The vehicle has abilities. The skills come from a driver, but... I mean, it made it a little bit of the way. Oh, God. Not the stairs. Oh, no. Oh, it's stuck on the rocks again. Oh, it's never getting off of these. Unless I back up. I was going to say, that's the only way off of these rocks is to back up. Only way. Um, or to go forward, apparently. I, I did not, did not think that would be a thing, but it is. Come on. Oh, God. You know, if you could, like, if you could give just a little bit more traction to this thing, it would be great. Unfortunately, you can't. And that causes some problems. Causes some problems like, for example, for example, it, there's just certain times when it just refuses to grip. It's just like, I, yeah, no. Like, this is not what I had in mind as far as what I wanted to do today. Um, grip was not on my list of priorities, especially grip up this particular hill that I have just now decided that I don't like. And, like, when a single wheel leaves the ground, it doesn't have to be, like, multiple wheels, just when a single wheel leaves the ground, oh boy, you are in for it. If you don't think you are, trust me. You are about to be when this thing... Oh, my God. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Holy crap. We are doing it. Oh, my God. We are doing this. We are doing this right now. We are, we are officially climbing this side of the mountain with a Cadillac limousine. We almost made it. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, come on. Bet you if the front axle got over that little lip right there that it would do it. I bet you. I bet you it would. All right, let's start out in third. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. Dude, it almost did it. That was closer than it's ever been. Closer than it's ever, ever been. I'll roll back just a little bit. All right. Third gear. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, it slid too far to the right. Okay, we're starting to get off course now. I feel like it could do it, though. I feel like it could so do it. You know deep down inside that you're a lifted Silverado. I mean, you come from the same family. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, one more time. That launch kind of sucked, but... Oh, it was the farthest one yet! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! We did it! Oh, my God! We actually did it! That's incredible! Dude, that's incredible! And I am going to do donuts up here now because that is actually, like, genuinely worth celebrating. Look at this thing! Uh-oh, it's going back down the mountain. Oh, well, maybe not. That is amazing. That is amazing. And regardless of whether or not it's effective, it actually kind of works. And it works better than what I assumed it, it would. So I actually really, really am surprised by this thing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.